All right, here with uh, head coach Chris Woods for the track and field team. Coach, what can you tell us about last week's meet and some of the individuals that stood out at UAB? Um, last week we had a, a great opening meet. I feel like we're in the same place, or if not a little bit better, as far as the depth is, is concerned as where we were last year. So um, we're really pleased with, with what we did. I think we had over 30-something top 10 finishes or something like that, which is uh, this is a great way to start the season off. Uh, we got through it injury free, so that's always a plus. Um, that's one of our main focuses of that first indoor meet. So, you know, as far as individual performances that stood out, I don't really want to focus a lot on that as much as I want to focus on um, how our team performed um, as, a, as a whole. Right, and we began the meet and finished the meet on uh, a really strong note, and that's important for us as we move forward towards the next competition. You know, when we get into the season, each meet gets a little bit more challenging each week. You know, and uh, so it's always important for us to end the meet on a very strong note, so that way we can carry that momentum into the next competition. The women's team is pretty young. Yeah. How do you evaluate them? What are your goals for them, keeping in mind how young they are as they start college competition? Sure. Um, you know, we're in the Southeastern Conference, so um, their learning curve is, is is not quite as long as there is in some other conferences, you know. Um, so our goal as a coaching staff on, with such a young crew is to um, put them in positions early on where they can be successful. And I think we've been doing that up to this point. Um, like I said, each meet's going to get a little bit more challenging, and, and we don't want to give them, we don't want to put them in a position too soon that they can't handle. Um, so we're going to continue to develop them, not rush them in situations that they're not prepared for. As coaches, we got to get them prepared for those situations. And as we get closer and closer to the indoor conference championship meet, we feel confident that they're going to be in a better position to go into that meet confident that they're going to be able to compete against their, their SEC counterparts. At UAB, you ran some off events. There were some interesting distances there. This week at Vanderbilt, you're kind of back to the standard set of events. Um, what are you looking forward to as you go into this week? What, how do you evaluate the team coming out of Vanderbilt? Yeah, so with this being the first meet where we're really competing in the standard events, uh, what I'm looking for is for people to compete to win their races. Um, performances, times, distances, heights, all of that stuff, that's really not – my main focus this week, my main focus is seeing how we compete, how how big of competitors are we. Um, that, that's the main goal uh, for, for us this week is whatever race you're in, whatever jumping event you're in, whatever throwing event that you're in, I want to see people competing to win their section or to win the, to win the, the event overall. Um, if, if we can prove to be – big competitors, no matter the stage, as long as we're competitors, I feel really confident that as we get ready to go into the conference championship meet and national championship meets, as long as you're a competitor and you're competing to win, eventually you're going to have a performance that will indicate that you can score at the national championship meet or you could score at the conference championship meet. So this weekend, the main focus is just being the best competitor you can be, no matter the event. And you talked about momentum, but after this, you're going into a bye week yeah. in the schedule. How does that – does that add emphasis to this week to, to really have a good week before you have a week off? Or what is your approach to a bye week? Uh, from, a, from a coaching standpoint, from a developmental standpoint, uh, the bye week that we're getting ready to go into after this meet is really important because now we have a, a bit block um, to train in which is important from a coaching uh, standpoint, from a developmental standpoint, because w once we hit Michigan, once our team leaves and goes to that meet, now as a coaching staff and as a head coach, uh, I am going to start focusing on performances, making sure that people um, are getting closer to national championship uh, qualifying standards. Uh, performing at a level that will score at the conference championship, performing at a level that will score, uh, qualify and score at the national championship meet. So um, 
you know, I don't want to belittle the first two meets in, in Birmingham and, and, and Nashville. I'm not belittling them at all. But these meets are more like exhibition meets. And, um, you know, once we go into Michigan and, and um, we move on into Clemson and, and Vanderbilt again, those are the meets that where we're looking for national championship qualifying marks and, and SEC scoring marks. So, um, the, the bye week is really important because we can get a full block of training in before we go into that high-level elite competition. And then last thing, I know you said you didn't really want to talk about individual marks from last week, but you did have one. Uh, Tiffany Johnson got in the record book, mm -hmm. and April Thomas now has all but one of the, the marks in the record book for that event in the yeah. weight throw. What does that mean? What has she done for your program? Uh, Tiffany or Coach April? Co Coach Thomas, but also <laughs> just kind of what does it mean for Tiffany to, to have that big mark all of a sudden? Well, first of all, you know, what Coach April has done for our program in the last, you know, since she's been here, it's, it, you can't quantify it because there's a lot of stuff um, that she does that, that doesn't necessarily show up in stats. You know what I mean? Uh, just from the respect that she gets from the women's team, the, 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 um, the added responsibility that she puts on them to be high level athletes. Um, like none of that is, that's not in a record book. That's not, you know, that's not a stat that's kept up with. Um, so what she does for this program, um, is, it really can't be quantified. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I just can't go without saying how much I appreciate coach Thomas because she does so much for this program, both in the area of our, in the arena of our sport and off of that as well. She just does so much. Um, Tiffany, um, I, I'm really excited for the year that she's going to have. I mean, she opened up this year um, with a PR pretty close to it. This is the first meet. Um, I think if Tiffany embraces competition, embraces getting outside of a comfort level, I think that she'll put herself in a position where she could score at the conference meet this year indoors, which is what we 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 set things up. You know, we redshirted her last year so that she can get another year of development under her belt. So Tiffany just has to start developing the the competitive nature and which I think she has and and just gain more confidence as she's going more and more into the season and you know, going to training with a little bit more focus each time and I think it I think that she's gonna be in a really good position to score come February.